Hi, I'm James Haug, along with Robert D. Felice, and welcome to the Red Fox Report, presented by the Center for Sports Communication. Today we have action from football, men's soccer, women's tennis, and women's volleyball. We're going to kick things off with football here. Coach Parody trying to get his team back on track in his 31st year of coaching after falling at home to St. Thomas. Early in the first quarter, DJ Arroyo was able to hit grad student Max Mazzella for a 14-yard touchdown, giving Maris the first score of the game. Maris has been running with a two-quarterback set between Bogosi and Arroyo. Stetson answers back quickly, though, as... Uh, Brady Heats hands the ball off to Kadarius Roberts for a 40-yard touchdown, his second of the season and of his career. Game is tied now at 7-7. Moving now into some second-half action, Arroyo hands the ball off to Glenmore and Leonard Osborne, who finds some space and breaks away an 80-yard touchdown, showing off that track speed. Osborne actually transferred from Maris to go to Louisville on a full track scholarship before coming back this past offseason. Maris now takes a lead of 24-17. Both teams trading blows back and forth on offense, but it was Maris defense and special teams that were able to make the difference in the end of the game here. With just two minutes left to go in the game, Claiborne Fields returns a punt, finds some open space, and is able to break it away for an 89-yard touchdown. Fields showing off here why he earned All-American distinction during the offseason. Maris takes the lead 38-31 to with just a minute or so left in the game. Stetson looking to take a final shot to try to score some points, and what do you know, but Claiborne Fields is able to pick off quarterback Brady Meats and return it 70 yards for a touchdown, solidifying the 45-31 win for the Red Foxes as they advance to 2-3 and three on the season and return home to take on rival Dayton next week. On to men's soccer, where Quinnipiac hosts Marist in the rain. Starting in the 14th minute game, tied at zero, Marist with the ball. Jared Julo threads the needle to Hugo Guerrero, who puts it in the back of the net to give the Foxes the early 1-0 lead. However, Quinnipiac would quickly score the equalizer. The game is now tied in the 38th minute. Quinnipiac with the ball, but Sam Illen makes an acrobatic save to keep the game tied at one. Fast forward to the 65th minute. The game is now 2-1 Quinnipiac. They have possession. David Biercito beats the defense and takes keeper Illin one-on-one, jukes out the keeper, and puts it in the back of the net to give the Bobcats the 3-1 lead. Heading into the 73rd minute now. Fox is still down 3-1 with possession. The ball is played into Damari Montuti, and he finds the back of the net to cut the Bobcat lead to 1. Final minute of play now. Marist looking for the equalizer. The ball is played into Henrique Cruz, who tries the bicycle kick, but it goes over the net. Quinnipiac holds on to win 3-2 as they hand Maris their third loss of the season. Moving on now to some tennis action, the women's tennis team closed their fall season at the Colgate Invite with every player winning at least one of their matches. The weekend featured two team wins over Hamilton College in both singles and doubles. Freshman Chloe Clem Clements continued to lead the way for the Foxes with three wins in singles and doubles, a win mark equaled by sophomore Leah Lambert with her best results of the season. On to volleyball, where Maris hosts Siena, sporting their pink jerseys for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Maris comes into the day on a four-game winning streak, while Siena sits in the middle of the max standings. Maris down 6-2 early in the first set. Gabby Heller gets through the blockers for the kill for the Foxes. This point would start a Marist rally, and Heller would finish with 14 kills on the day. Set point now for the Foxes. The ball is set up, and Jordan Newblatt spikes it down for the kill. Maris takes the first set by seven. Newblatt finished second on Marist with 15 kills. Sienna starts the next set on a 4-0 run. Issei Amrula blocks Heller at the net. Sienna would take the second and third set, and Amrula finished with 14 blocks as she would be named the MAC player of the week. Fourth set now tied at 16. Maris trying to force a fifth set. Vanessa Zoll blocks Sarah Wagner at the net to give Maris the lead late in the set. However, moments later, this would be the match point for Sienna. The ball is up, and Haley Hinkle gets the game-winning kill for the Saints. Sienna wins three straight sets to win the match, and Haley Hinkle ends with 20 kills for the Saints. That's all we got for you today. This has been Robert T. Felice alongside James Howe on the Red Fox Report, presented by the Marist Center for Sports Communication. See you next time.